Right, so to open ports on wires X, or at least find if they are open, we come up the top menu to Tool and Port Check. This gives you a, a little interface, and um, it's, we got ticked here Automatic UPnP, um, which is plug and play, um, universal plug and play. Um, that is basically uh, when a service requests a certain port on your router. Um, your router will know to open that port because it, it's coming from something within your network um, and it does it automatically for you. It does it for a lot of things. So we're going to leave that checked um, and then you just click start. Right, and as you can see, it hasn't found a route. So now we're going to look at the router configuration. Um, I can't cover all the routers. Here's a selection that um, I've got to hand, uh, and we're going to look at the home hub um, five or six, I can't which one is. Um, I'm going to look at the home hub just to show you, just to get an idea. Um, if you've got a, a Sky router, it's worth finding out what model it is and then typing it into Google and going from there. So we're going to look at the home hub. Um, this one hasn't got internet connection, so I've just plugged into this test. But uh, if you type in to your web browser 192.168.1.254, you should basically come up with this menu. Um, we're then going to go into advanced settings. And then on the firewall, we've got port forwarding. So it's then going to want an admin password. We get into that. Should be that. I'm going to save it. And then we got port forwarding. So then we're going to click uh, create new port forwarding rule. And then the ports over here are the ones we need to forward. So um, we'll just well, we name them roughly. So I'm going to name them um, in rough order. Select device. Now there's only one computer to connect to this at the moment. So that's that. And then we've got the external ports. The first one is four six one zero zero. Select protocol, and we want uh, UP, uh, UDP for this. If you're ever unsure, just select both TCP and UPD. Um, and then we add that to the list, and that's the first one opened. Now, we could open, because there's a range here from uh, 46100 to 46122. It's not using all the ports, but we can open a range. So if we go on here and we just make up a name, select device, same computer as before, and then we type in here 46100, and then we type the last port in here, so that's 46122. Uh, select protocol, UPD, UDP, we'll get that right in a minute, and then add and then that's the whole range added if you want the quick way of doing it or you can do each one um, and there's six to do so personal preference but I tend to do each one um, but that is up to you so that is a really quick overview on how to open a port uh, on a BC router it doesn't differ too much on other routers um, somewhere along the line in the settings you'll find um, port forwarding and that's all you need to do is forward it to the, the computer you're using uh, and then away you go. So I hope you uh, find this video useful and uh, please let me know any comments in the forum. Thanks for watching.